coughed. Yes, I did. Anyway, so we got oh, back. I need a marker. And uh, Ken has I need been a like, permanent come marker. on, get on set, get on set, get on set. And uh, it works. It works when somebody's yelling at you like that. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I thought he was yelling at us to get on set because it was like I know. You know, 320 or something. <laughs> and it's like, okay. No, he's in No, he just wanted us to be on time, which yeah, look at yeah. this. We started on time. Now, we haven't actually started started, but I, I, why do I have two tablets, John P? Well, you're going to have to decide which one you want and which one you don't. Well, I have no. Which one you want? I have no ability to hate. bring. I want the, t the Samsung tablet, but I have no like thing for it. I don't know what case. happened to my case. Who stole your case? You can take that back. Why are you just staring at it? You're the one with the table over there. I gotta find my case for it. Meanwhile, I'm using my surface, my surface tablet. Yes, you are. Look at that. But I had hey, Ken. I was down to 10% charge, so I have it plugged in because I'm I'm almost dead. Nice. I'm almost deed. Sure, we can address John P's abs. What? Digital Phil wants to talk about your abs. Right. Nobody needs to talk about my abs. Huh? Nobody needs to talk about my abs. Although that for, that that for the record that uh, Photoshop job, it, it wasn't of your abs. It was of you in place of Leonidas yeah. 300. That was pretty good. That Photoshop was a really good Photoshop. That's job. what my abs would look like if I was in 300. Did you see my abs in that shot? In that yeah. I mean, he photoshopped my abs. That looked good. I mean, it looked. You look great in the regular original picture. Can somebody find your permanent markers? Because you huh? don't have any in your cups anymore. Gee, even gee. your good one, your nice big. Fat, what? That's a, this is fine. Okay. What? Who is going into your office and stealing stuff? Because everything is just disappearing. Probably me. I don't know. Probably you. I might have taken a couple of them, but I don't know who took the good ones. Is it too noticeable? Hello, my name is John P. I don't know. I do not know what this Hearthstone card thing is. Somebody fill me in. It's not sticking to the cup. Well, I don't know what happened. How, to your good I have a question for you, Foster. <laughs> David, how many pictures do you take behind the scenes versus how many do you actually use? Uh, I've probably taken a thousand and used three. It's not working. Nice. It's not working. Because it's wet. It's it's cold. It's I wet. dried it off first. It's just not working. <laughs> Lady A, you know it's all John that stole your heart. Whatever. Don't even don't even try and bring me into it. Whatever. David, you know we're live, right? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Good foster. Huh? You good? Follow? All right. Yeah, Let's this do isn't it. working. <laughs> yeah, I'm look, ready. it just wipes completely off. That was permanent marker, and it literally just wipes nice. right off. Is that the fabric marker? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> is it? It is. But what? Shouldn't it work anyway? It should. Is no, fabric, it's a different. It? It's a, like a different formula. A different just bring me my backpack. I've got it inside. Wait, we don't the, inside need my it backpack, right I've got second. a little marker on the look left of the inside of look my backpack. Look at him. Look at the man. Nice. That was. Huh? Yes. I know. He does not want to be late. <laughs> Where's my Bam Bam Club? <laughs> Hold on, I gotta fix myself. I didn't. I didn't spend any time on my hair this today. Thank you. So. Oh, that'll work. I would think. <laughs> hey Carter. Hey. But inside. Bam, bam. Oh God. <laughs> inside my backpack, on the inside of the main area, there's some pins, and there's the little thin sharpie pin. Yeah, little David. Thin, bam, sharp. bam. I want this one too. Okay, okay. 
Oh. Just came for me? Let's bring it in. Yeah, we might need to open it. You look uh, very casual today, Carter. Why, why do you think I didn't spend any time on my hair, Bobbage? I spend a, a lot of time on my hair. <clears throat> I have it all in a box at home, and I like to organize it and stuff. No. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, but we start, do you know we start there and then go over? Yeah, we start center, and John says, I'm um, John P. I say, I'm Callie Lewis. Today on Geek Beat Live, and with today on, is when we go to the close up cameras. Right. And then end on the middle. Hey guys, I'm John P. And I'm Callie Lewis. Today on Geek Beat Live, self tying shoes. Snapchat me some cash. Charge your phone with your belt? Uber's out to get me. Out with the old and in with the new. It all starts now. John, huh? John, we're we're doing a show right now. Oh, hey guys, I'm almost done. Don't worry. You <laughs> killed my father. What? Prepare. What are you doing? To hi, die. hi, everyone. What are sh what are you doing? I I have a hello. My name is John P. On my witch witch cup, so I had to put in the rest of it. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Yeah, well, show the camera. Hello. I mean, you, the, sh the camera was trying to look. Hello, my name is Inigo Montoya. <laughs> You killed my father. Prepare wow. to die. That's funny. You can never have a name badge where you put your name and you don't write that at the end. Oh, of it. oh I didn't realize that. It's kind of like I being didn't know a, that was the thing. It's kind of like being in a club. You know, like if you write that on your name badge and people just like look at you and just go away from you. Yeah, they're like, oh. Because they're fearful. I don't know what you are. They are not in the club. Right. They have not seen the movie. However, for once. I do know what that's from. You do. Can you tell people what it's from? Princess Bride. Okay, I believe you. You know it. <laughs> happy hey birthday to a harumph this week. Yes, happy birthday. Paul, thank you so much for being a part of the community. And to all those millions and millions of you watching out there in TV land, you look especially nice today. Did you do something with your hair? Oh, you lost weight. I knew it. I could tell. Yeah, they look good. That was the flattery part of our show. <laughs> Now we move on to the non flattery What do we move on to next? Oh, my Bam Bam hammer fell over. Good, thank God. You've been <laughs> chasing me around with that hammer, that club all uh, week. Uh, you know what I am looking for? Yes, no. I'm kind of upset because these are, this is a box of Damson Audio Jet speakers. I, I we, see that. We have been waiting for the special edition package of these to get into the Sam's Club stores. Yes. And we went there today at lunch and I didn't uh, they didn't have them yet. They not, were supposed to be there. Yet. Yeah, they were supposed yesterday. to be there yesterday. yesterday. They're not there yet today. If you guys see, you have to tell me if you find Actually what you have to do is take a picture of it if you find it in your local Sam's Club. But and buy it of course. You can buy one too. But take if you go to Sam's Club and you see the jets on display Take a picture of the display and send it to us. We need it. We need to see it. Yes. We have not seen it. We have not seen it. And yeah. you can get you some jets as well while you're at it. Why would you not do that? But I'm just saying at least go to Sam's Club and take a picture of the display and send it to us because we want to see them. Speaking. And we're pissed that they're not <laughs> in our Sam's Club yet. We're going to complain to the manager, the local manager. Are we? Yes, we are. Sure, why not? And speaking of the jets, we have um We're going to get a, on a jet. Well, we are not going to get on a jet. We are going to give away a jet to one of you. Are you giving away my jets? The, yes, I am. Wow. Actually, five. We're giving away five more. We already gave away five, David. We did give away five. It was so popular, David says, that uh, Damson said, let's give away some more. Wow. So before we get to that, uh -huh. we need to announce the winner of 
the Phantom that we were giving away. Oh. The DJI Phantom. Did we give that away our DJI is Phantom? over and done with, so congratulations to James Peterson. Did you give him mine? The one. The fixed one? The John P. fixed one? Yeah, did you give that one? No, it was a brand new one that has not been touched by John P. Although Digital Phil did request if he won, which he mm -hmm. didn't, but if he won, that it would be fixed he by you before fix he before got it. it. Yes. <laughs> I guess he didn't win. No, he didn't Who win. Who won? Uh, James Peterson. Well, congratulations, James. Yes. You can now, you'll have a quadcopter that you can fly around your neighborhood. You can attach a camera, GoPros like a GoPro too. to it. Yep. You can terrorize the neighbors, chase the children. Whatever, whatever you want to do with or it. Or dogs, be fun. chase the dogs. Don't chase dogs. No? Dogs will come after it. <laughs> That's true. I have learned and this from experience. It. Oh, God. <laughs> Well, in Cats, its place, you can chase them all day long. I don't care. <laughs> that was uh, thanks to Adorama giving away that. Um, and That's if right. you want one of your very own, you can go to Adorama.com. And if you want to win your jets, can yes. they go to geeky.tv forward slash contests? Giveaways. John, oh, forward giveaways. Does that, can you make we that work, David? Oh, okay. see, it, either one. Either one. Forward slash giveaways or forward slash right. contests. It doesn't matter. To. Because I keep telling people <laughs> the wrong thing. <laughs> well, I tell people what right. I tell people. So that's where you go to win one of these. It will last for 10 days. And it is international, so it's oh. open to everybody. Anyone, anywhere can win Open them. to everybody. All right. All right. What um, else we got going on? We also... We are uh, going to get on a jet. We are going to get on a jet in a couple of months. Uh -huh. And go to CES. We but are? before we go to CES, we are actually going to AT&T's Hackathon. Wow, are they going to let me back in there? <laughs> There's a special deal that had to be made out, you know. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, we're going to... I had to promise that you wouldn't hack anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> Although everybody else is allowed to do I that. I see. Well, we are going to be doing live coverage from AT&T's Hackathon right before CES. So if you fancy yourself a hacker like me... Uh, you can <laughs> you can go over to geekme.tv slash att. Wow, that's an easy one. And you can register. And you can get registered. Get yourself all registered up and come to Las Vegas and party down with Callie and me and the whole team. We're all going to be in Las Vegas. I am looking forward to be honest. Things. I'm really looking forward to what comes out of that. So these are you know. So oh, by the way, did you know that they're going to have like a hundred thousand dollars worth of prizes? Wait, what? They are really good. Do going I get to, to enter? No, you don't get to enter. Well, are you gonna are you gonna hack something? Are you gonna be a hacker? Um, well, as only a little the part, hackers can, can I win. hack while on set? No, you will be covering the event. Okay. You cannot win anything. Uh, then I. I Sorry, yeah, <laughs> you can you can't win. You okay. can't win. Okay. Well, I'll leave it but to you one of you win. guys. Then. You guys can win. Go register and come join. And if you're a programmer with any kind of skills whatsoever. Uh, Pablo's raising his hands, he could go. Um, <laughs> then you can hack up some stuff, and otherwise if you're a UI designer or if you're a business person and you have great ideas and you can contribute to the team, marketing efforts, uh, everything, they build teams and then they work on a project for like 30 hours straight with no sleep. Right. And then they come and present it, and we're going to be broadcasting from there, showing you guys who can't be in Las Vegas all the goodies. It's going to be a lot of fun. It will be fun. What's also fun is knives. You've been talking about uh, I can't wait. I cannot wait to the end of the show to unbox it. But that's unboxing I can't, time. I'm not going to. I'm not going to wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not going to wait. So, oops. What? I'm you dropping, dropping other stuff? <laughs> I'm dropping. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you what. We'll compromise. Oh. I'll only open half of the package. Okay. And then we'll open the other half later. Fair enough. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, I couldn't wait. Got, well, do, we actually have to go to commercial break, don't we? Um, well, okay, our timekeeper is sick, so I'll he tell you what. walked away. We're going to go to commercial break. When we come, he said we had two minutes. Did we have two minutes? We have two minutes left. Do we have two minutes? Because okay, I extended okay. the time. We're not going to commercial break you. yet. First of all, I have to tell you guys a story. There is a company. We only have two minutes. Called Cold Steel that makes knives and swords and weaponry. And I am not talking about cheap Chinese crap that is cheap. <laughs> I'm talking about good, ridiculous, high quality blades that you could chop people into pieces with. Um, they have videos of it on YouTube, I'm telling you right now. Of chopping people into bits? Well, maybe not people, but chopping all kinds of things into bits. So, 
Being the bladesmith that I am, the first thing that I wanted to do was test one of these knives. Of course uh, you I did, John. My, I forgot to put my phone on. Uh, John forgot to put his phone Anyway, on I wanted to test one of these knives. <laughs> so I pinged him over at Cold Steel and mm -hmm. I said, hey guys, would you send me a knife that I can destroy? And they said, uh, yes, we will. We'll send you a knife that you can destroy. That you can destroy you or try why? to destroy because they believe in their knives so much. Oh, I'm going to destroy it. Oh, okay. But here's why. The only way. The only way to know the true quality of a knife is to literally destroy it. So guess what they did? They sent me two, two of them. One to destroy and the other to test with. Nice. And so I can't wait. We're going to just open one of these suckers real So what quick. you're telling me is essentially if you are to destroy it and it goes well, the destruction process goes well, then you know that this that the other knife is actually made out of high quality steel. Yes, it's 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 really the process, okay, by which it's, they make them. So this is the cold steel Laredo Bowie. Now, if you know anything about Bowie knives, these things are actually designed for fighting. They've been around since Jim Bowie, and you know he, he they got famous with the with him going to the Alamo and all that good stuff. But What's that? this. What's the Alamo? Remember the Alamo. Joking. I'm joking. This. Now wow. that, my friends, is a serious Look at fighting that. knife. Oh, wow. And it's Cold pointed steel. straight it's at got, me. Yeah, it's got uh, <laughs> oil on it to protect the surface. Do you want to feel it? I do. It is so sharp. You have to be really careful. It is going to chop people apart. All right, there you go. Look at that. That is that feels good. Okay, while we're trying to pry the knife from her cold dead fingers, uh, or whatever it is, we're gonna take a commercial <laughs> break. Keep that thing away from me. You guys stick around, and when we come back, I don't know, maybe we'll hack something up with it. Mm. I don't know. Be right back. That's beautiful. Isn't that awesome? That is. Just flipped out, John, I think. Huh? Oh, no, I don't need to see it. I, I mean, it doesn't hurt, but no. Um, I just need. <laughs> That's funny. Although John's That's face awesome. is not good. <laughs> I need uh, uh, over there, Dave. It's heavy. I, I need uh, over there the box of rags, you know? Mm -hmm. I need uh, to wipe it off. one of those. Just one of those little white rags. It's heavy, right? It's a big. Hello. Ridiculous piece of How steel. How are you? How goes Good to it? See you. Welcome, Welcome back. Welcome. Why did you give Callie that knife? Thanks, guys. Thanks for the trust. That was a, a that, mistake, that right? That is a good knife. Is this the which one? Oh, this is the. Thank you. You're welcome. Now this one is made of O1 steel, which is a very high quality. Uh, <laughs> piece of of steel that's high carbon and so it's um we could literally chop through bodies with this thing all day long all day long huh? all day long so just chopping bodies for the zombie apocalypse if i'm gonna go with a knife yes then that's what i want for my I, zombie apocalypse uh weapon perhaps. i am not even kidding it really is this is like the perfect zombie apocalypse weapon but the question still remains. Because. We had this conversation like a year ago. You're muted. Uh, yes, because the reason sorry. this is a perfect zombie apocalypse weapon is because it's the, the weapon you can have on you at all times, right? You wear this thing while you sleep, eat, shower. That looks a little uncomfortable and everything for sleeping. Else. You just wear it with you all the time. And when the zombies come around, chop, chop, chop. You chop them up. Fillet them, dice them, whatever. All little soy need, sauce, whatever you All you do. need is one quick slice to the head. That's all you need. You could take a head right off with one of these. Good. Hey, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna prove it to you guys later. We need to do a Kickstarter on a Android Wear knife. You know what the bad yes. thing is? The bad thing is, uh, I'm not sure I can bring myself to actually destroy this knife. It is just so. Uh oh, you're in trouble. But you know, but we for, have the, one. for the zombie apocalypse, the thing I want because. 
that's a little, that's getting a little close to the zombies because they're kind of strong. I mean, they're not super strong, but they're, but they're strong slow. enough. they're slow, they're slow. I know, but they could grab you. <laughs> but then and if then... they grab you, you just go like that and their mm, arms off. That's true. You see but then you have to deal with the arm that's attached and it's going like this. You don't think it would let go and... You think it's know. just gonna hold there and it like might. crawl up your arm to you do, you don't know. choke you on your neck? You don't, you don't know these things. Because we true. haven't we had a zombie we apocalypse had it yet, yet, so. Well, <laughs> they also, Ken's like, come on, let's go. They also sent me, they included a bonus hat. I have what a cold that? steel hat. Is that their logo? That's one of them. It says cold steel knives. Nice. Hey, this is better because now I don't have to stare at the light because I can like totally shade my eyeballs from the light. Hey, can I get That's like a napkin bad, right? or something? Yes. Oh, nice. are you done with that? Yeah, I'll get another one. Okay. Uh, Would you uh, mute your I phone? I guess I'll have to mute that. <laughs> so unprofessional around here. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, let's check the old Twitters. Let's see if anybody's Twittering at me at the moment. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> and then don't worry, Ken, we're about to come back. Just got to get the old Twitters up. <laughs> oh, did y'all see my, ca uh, my tweet from a little while ago uh, from uh, Witch Witch? Okay. How'd you like that guy? He was a class so, act, right? So we went to Witch Witch, and um, we, we go up, and John orders or hands them your his order, because you write your order down on a piece of paper if you've never been to Witch Witch. And you hand it to him, and uh, the, guy, the guy just, like, l takes it, looks at it, puts it in the register, I mean, like, completely straight-faced the entire time, hangs it up on the hanger behind him to send to the cooks, and... Didn't even pay attention John was like... What do you think about what I what I put on there? Uh, how many times have you had that written on there? Because there's a place where it says uh, name. name. My hello, my name is, and um, the guy was like. And I wrote John P. You killed my father. Prepare to die. And the right. guy didn't even like. The guy unfazed. just looks at like he doesn't barely even he doesn't even look at John. Like John says, "What do you think of that?" Ha ha ha. I said, no, I said, uh, I bet you get that all the time. Uh, how many people have written that? He's like, written what? No, he didn't even say that. He didn't even respond to you. I had to no, say, he did. He said, oh, did he? He said something like, I didn't hear him. what? Oh, okay. I mean, he's <laughs> totally like, didn't completely like... emotionless, written what? <clears throat> uh, you know, what, what do you write? What do you write? Yeah, what, what, what do you write? And then um, I, and then I... Oh, That was I, the end of that story, I, by the well, way. Well, no, but then, no, because your tweet... Oh. And then I said, I gave, I was trying to pay for my food, and he, he asked me a question, but he mumbled it, like, five times. I couldn't even understand what he was asking me. And uh, then John P. decided that he was like the honey badger because he just don't care. He don't give a sh. That's my, that's my Cali G-rated version of the honey badger. I see. Don't my brother, care. My brother works at Witch Witch. Is he actually going to wear that hat? Uh, <laughs> that's no, him, I huh? guess not. You can't see your face. Well, that's kind of an improvement, isn't it? <laughs> John P. Ready? Ready. You yeah. have a hot date or something tonight, Ken? No, I just want to get this over with. World of Warcraft. <laughs> We're so entertaining. He's he's anxious to to get it. Uh huh. <laughs> it doesn't matter that the live audience enjoys the the commercial breaks at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I am. <clears throat> no, Harumph. You cannot use the, the, ha the knife to slice the Bam Bam Hammer. You are not touching my Bam Bam Hammer. You are not touching it. I could it. chop that. I could chop that knife right now. <laughs> I have to have my keyboard attached. Hey guys, welcome back to Geek Beat Live. Yes. That is your host, Callie Lewis. Wow, you look like you just... Yes, that's just, John P. I just realized that uh, I'm using the... I'm using... Today I'm using the Microsoft Surface 
And you have a Samsung tablet over here, and I we have, have an Samsung. iPad over here. I have the Note 4 over here, but my um, I, I have my settings messed up <clears throat> on my uh, Surface. Yeah. So when I try and just touch the screen to just scroll like one line, it instantly scrolls to the end of our entire run sheet. It nice. won't go like oh. just one line. Let's see that? It just That's won't. hilarious. But hang on, I'll show you guys. It's kind of funny. Uh, so like, uh, there's like the beginning, and then I go like this. Oops, wait, I go like this. Like this, ah, there, okay, there you go. Look, see, it's like uncontrollable. <laughs> like, I can't even just. <laughs> so yeah, I just really just want to go a little bit. So I have to hey. put the keyboard on it. Hey, Ken, um, they're saying you stream audio is low. I know that we're not in the middle of, you know, a commercial break or anything, but uh, that's all right. Yeah, yeah. Behind the scenes here at Geek Beat. Anyway, it is time it's for news. It's news time. Uh, okay, and I've got my, I can actually see my first news story here. Awesome. Uh, Uber. Yeah, Uber got into trouble. Uber's Uber in has Uber been... trouble. <laughs> nice. You, you planned that one all day long, Enjoy didn't that? you? That was great. Um, so Uber has been like the... Uh, Lightning rod. Well, I, like everybody loves them, right? I mean, they're, I get, they're well, the favorite. Well, some people love them and some people hate them because well, they've honestly, gotten some bad press. there's been more and more stories popping up about things that they're doing. Mm -hmm. And this is the latest one. The latest one is apparently Uber has something called God Mode built in for employees to be able to access essentially any data that the system has, meaning that if somebody was using the app and they're writing somewhere or something, that an employee can could see where track. you are right. and track you. Right. Well, the this latest, actually happened. The, well, the latest uh, thing that's happened is that uh, an employee, I mean, no, no, a reporter. Well, a reporter said that one of the employees, uh, what's the guy's name? Michael, Emil Michael. Right who's a senior VP of business, well, told her he's been tracking her twice. Uh, he I'm not sure if it was him who said that, but an employee I read of, the thing. oh, okay, okay. He said, he told her that he'd tracked her and he showed her like the evidence. Right, She's like, times. what? And so then, <laughs> I'm not sure why you would ever show a reporter that information, but he then, did. And she re actually requested it not to be tracked anymore. Yeah, well, she had never given them permission to do it to start with, right. but he was just doing it for no reason. And then it, some other employee said, oh, yeah, virtually everybody in the company can do it. Yeah. And they do. And uh, so this is just not good. And then beyond that, uh, Emil actually said, like, kind of semi-publicly, but like in a lunch, uh, that they... No, that was a different guy. No, that was this guy. Okay, go ahead. Um that he should uh, basically, that they should use this service to dig up dirt to chastise, you oh, know. Oh, was it the same guy who I don't that? think it was the same guy. I don't think that uh, this guy was the same guy that showed the reporter. Oh, okay. But we're not dealing with facts here, right? Anyway. <laughs> yeah, we don't let facts get in the way. <laughs> so um, anyway, he said like publicly, hey, we should dig up dirt, you know, uh, on people he, who say bad things about us. What he said was, you know, we could spend like a million dollars to hire a bunch of investigator kind of people and some journalists to spy on the journalists who talk bad about us. <laughs> and then the CEO, of course, Travis, came Does out and said... Does that mean that right now, Whoa. if we're talking bad about them, they're going to hire people to talk bad about us? If we used Uber. Wow. Yeah. I'm Actually, maybe not even Uber. if we used Uber. We don't. We. Did you know that Uber is worth twenty billion dollars now? That's crazy. But here's the problem. You know what? Cabbies in like New York and municipalities and stuff were trying to keep Uber out, and they were warning about all kinds of bad things that could happen and blah blah. blah. And it was like, no, you're just afraid of your prices getting all you know going down, and you guys are too expensive and blah blah. I bet you all those cab organizations right now are going, huh? Ah. <laughs> we never did this. Right. We didn't track you. We don't raise the rates on you when it's prime time and it's snowing outside and crazy stuff like that. That's what you get when you go with Uber. That's what they're saying. <laughs> well, you know what's worth $500 million? What's that? Is a new project in New York City to switch over those old pay phones that are not being used all over the city and turn them into... Well, still you can make phone calls, but internet hubs and uh, billboards. So they're going to take away the the phone you're lines. Take away my. 
They're gonna, they're gonna give you the ability to actually still call out, but while having a hotspot there, and What's a hot giving spot? them, and giving them the ability to sell ads against these spots that are just sitting unused. That'll cost them about two hundred million dollars to do the project, and they expect about five hundred million. Yeah, but how am I gonna return. make a phone call now if they take no, away my you pay still, phones? You still can make a phone call through the system. But they're gonna take away my pay phone. Right, but you still. Are able to Can make I have phone a pay calls? Phone? No, you. Anyway, Snapchat is something that uh, people have been using a lot of. Snapchat. Do you even know what that is? If you're so hooked on phone. Snapchat. So you you don't you don't want anything. I but just like to say Snapchat. Booth. Do you know what Snapchat is? It's. I'm all confused now, Jumpy. Snap and chat with it. It's quite <laughs> obvious, isn't it? <laughs> right. <laughs> and you also can pay money with it, too. That's what I like about Snapchat. You can make it rain cash on people. <laughs> Look at this video. This is perfect for Mon. Yes. It's 30 bucks. I'll get it. Will you send me 15? Yeah, totally. Did you like how she said yes? She was committed to that. Yes. yes. Look. Oh, epic. Epic oh, music. oh, here she goes. Oh, is What's it going to be six or five? Oh, oh, it's a five. Wow. Epic. And that just, and it goes. You know goes. what's the best thing about that? You guys have to go right down here, geeky.tv forward slash live 150. One, I can't see that number. I don't know. What's the number? 155. Ken? 155? No. Really? Wow. I thought well, we were past 155. We've done 155 of these live episodes. <laughs> Apparently. I can't believe they let us on TV with this crap. <laughs> anyway, uh, go there, 155, and look at the complete video. Because towards the end, it's funny, that chick on her phone, I'm not kidding, they added, they claim in the video that they added a new feature. I don't know if it's real or not, but I think it is. And it's like, make it rain mode. And she's got the little thing up, and she's going like this. Yeah. Like, like if you had a stack of dollar bills, and you just go like this. <laughs> and she's doing that, and she's going like this, and it looks like dollar bills are flying nice. off the app. And the other guy on his phone, it just looks like dollar bills it. are falling into his app. That's cool. And it's like $7 cent. That's it funny. It is so awesome. If it's for real, OMG, <laughs> I want to do that so bad. They are, of course, using Square Cash, which is a separate service, uh, but Square Cash is, is, is taking you know, the, the system uh, behind this. And it's just a super simple process. We've used it before. Uh, very, very easy to send money to people. So actually, it was a very smart decision because Snapchat is being used by teenagers and preteens and adults even all across the world. Um, for, for just messaging back and forth and sending pictures to each other. It's a, it's a very popular service. Okay, um, everybody say it with me. Snapchat! Snapchat! It's just fun, isn't it? All right, as we go to commercial break, you practice saying Snapchat. He's going to practice with his knife, and I'm not really sure how the two are going to come together later, but I'm sure they will at some point. So, on commercial break, three, two, Snapchat! You were supposed to say it. Uh. <sighs> You try. This thing is. How are we gonna get Snapchat and Nice to work together now? Brutal. Because <laughs> I, I was just talking. That's oh. brutal. We sell yours in those conference Brutal. <laughs> you can't sell. It's in the marketplace. Yeah, like, but you're gonna snap. And right. That is so sharp. Go. I mean, it is really. <laughs> Yes, Bob and John's Sharp. knife is illegal in 49 states and Puerto Rico. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> it's probably only legal in, like, Arkansas. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, what? Simply Mark B is here. What? Make it rain mode. I have not seen I, he has a my new way brother to, from another mother in, has, like... He said he has a new way to pay strippers now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. You think they would take it? If they got Snapchat, they would. Why wouldn't they? There's a, one problem with that. Where are, you gonna, where are they going to hold their phones to take the cash? In their hands? Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. While they're going around the pole? I mean, <laughs> like... Maybe they could rub a rubber band up their hands. Let me ask you a question. How do you know so much about what strippers do? <laughs> How do you know so much about the plight of strippers? Can you answer that question, please? <laughs> no. Uh, do we have a two by four over there? 
Oh, no. We should have a two by four over there somewhere. How are you, Mark? Or a two by six or something back in the corner over there. Yes, he is gawking at the knife almost obsessively. That is true. Just wait till you see what I'm going to do with that knife on later on the show today later. Oh, God. That's right. The interns are going to be running. <laughs> and I'll tell you what. You don't have to be able to outrun John P. You just have to be able to outrun the other intern. Digital Phil? No, I'm not really worried that about my life. That is not big enough. Oh, you mean? <laughs> I need a whole, like, I can't hold that with one hand and four? chop like, <laughs> you want me to hold that like this and just chop at it like that? Yeah, that's what, that's going to yeah. happen. I'll hold it. That's going to happen. You trust John way too much. Oh, Tiny Phantasma said, want to do the arm hair shaving test with the knife. Yeah, we can do that. We do you have do enough hair on your arms? Um, I, have, I haven't shaved too much lately. Let's see here. <laughs> yeah, that'll be good. That'll work. Wait, hold on. We got to get, he, he's doing the shave and we don't the have problem, a close-up. The problem with it is um, the knife, the blade is too thick. So for that. The, the, yeah, for the arm hair shaving. It's, it is very sharp. What? But the thing is, it's also very thick and you need a little thinner of a, of a, <clears throat> of a, of a knife so to I'm really. Turn my beard. Well, no shaving the back, but. I wouldn't say it's like shaving. It's not really shaving sharp. I was sharp. <laughs> just like. But again, you know, it's not made for that. It's made for, it's made for stabbing, chopping, and gutting, gutting you, boy. Now I'm scared. I'd take pleasure in gutting you, boy. Wow. Where would you like your two by six? Uh, you can just lean it right here against the table. Wait, are you not going to do it right now? Um, we're going to do it in a little bit. Okay. Ken's going to kill me if I don't <laughs> come back from commercial break. I know. I trust John way too much. All right. John doesn't have a mustache. What are you talking about? Mustache, huh? He says, shave your mustache. Right. I couldn't grow a mustache if I wanted to. <laughs> Can I shave Foster with that? <laughs> yeah, Paul, thanks for bringing up the rubber band gun incident again, Paul. <laughs> oh, God. Machete. I am not looking forward to what's coming. Oh, yeah. We got bad news. Like no, we very, got the greatest very news. bad news an email a couple of days ago. Awesome news. And I'm trembling. It's the reason I got sick because I need an excuse to leave this office. Here's when a the question. Here's a question for you guys. How many people when do you remember the rubber band machine gun? I remember the rubber band. Do you incident. remember the rubber band machine gun Kickstarter that I did a feature on on a geek beat episode and i pushed it out to all you guys i told everybody to go buy one how many of you backed that kickstarter project and bought one of those rubber band machine guns how many of you did it because i got an email that they are almost complete and they are shipping them so i ordered three that's oh right God. the gatlin gun Bob had spent all his money on rubber bands. I have three <laughs> Gatling gun machine guns that will be coming to us. Um, okay, I claim one of them so that I can get you back. What, you're going to shoot me in the eye like 900 times? Hey, an eye for an eye. <laughs> or 900. Right, okay. <laughs> Sounds good. You know what I just thought of? I should probably tell them that... I don't know if they have our new address because oh, that was so long ago. You better. I should probably tell him to send it to our new address. You better do that. Otherwise, we're going to have to go pick it up from the old place or it'll get returned. It's, you don't want to get it returned. It's international. Yeah, because it's going to like <clears throat> I don't uh, even know where anymore. The Ukraine or someplace. Right. Maybe I gave him the, uh, maybe I gave him the yes, my home Yes, witness address. protection. That's what I need. All right. Let's do it. Let's come back from commercial break. Commerciali break. Oh, nice. Yes, Paul, we just I picked see. up a... Oh, nice. I see now. Nice. Ken, Ken is in cahoots. <laughs> Ken's fought, yeah. found the dang thing, and now he's playing it back for everybody. Oh, I love you, Ken. Thank you. you need this? Yes. 
Where's mine? Where's mine? Where is mine? Your welding helmet? Yes. <laughs> it's, I don't know where it is. What'd you do with it? I don't know where it is. Did you get rid of my welding I don't, helmet? No, I don't know where it is. Is it in one of those drawers? I don't know. Maybe it's in my garage, I don't know. It is? You stole my welding helmet? Right, with the little mole on it, yeah. little robotic set of My, my sexy welding helmet welding is helmet. like a little girl robot. It's really cute. Okay, coming back from commercial break now. Uh, I gotta admit, I'm a little bit preoccupied with this whole knife. I know. Today. During I commercial even... break, a shoe by six just showed up. Yep, yeah, we're going to use Thanks, this. David. Uh, in a little while to oh. Oh, chop. Oh, look at that. Uh, we're gonna chop this thing in half. Okay. But you guys are gonna have to wait for that for a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna finish the show first <laughs> as best we can, and then we're gonna chop that two by four with this thing. Or maybe we'll wait until we open the other one, and then I'll get some two-handed chopping action going on. I don't know. Can I don't I, know what's gonna happen yet. Can I can I chop? No, you cannot chop. <laughs> no, you cannot chop. Well, Maybe well, a little. Well, Maybe thing, a little bit. One thing that everybody thought was chopped in half was Nokia, because Microsoft bought them. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to pause there, because that was brilliant. That was good, right? What happened? Microsoft bought Nokia. Really? You're and... not even going to give me props. All right, so, yeah, Microsoft bought Nokia a while back ago, and everybody was like, oh. Uh, you mean Nokia? Nokia. 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 Um, so, but now they have come out with their first new device after that transition, the Nokia N1. It's a uh, beautiful looking 20 by 48, sorry, 2048 by 1536 screen. It's an IPS screen. Yes, it is, which is actually the same as the iPad mini, uh, second and third gen. Yeah. Uh, it is running Android Lollipop. Lollipop, yummy, lollipop, which lollipop, I have not gotten my lollipop, hands on lollipop. yet, unfortunately. Yeah, I haven't either. Um, and they, it's a 2.4 gigahertz quad core Atom CPU with an 8 megapixel rear camera and 5 megapixels up front. That's a, that's a pretty high resolution for the front facing. It is. A lot of times you only good. get like three or something. Right. $250 price tag. So uh, it's beautiful looking, and if you're if you want to give that a try, there's go just for it. if you want to give it a try, you can, but you Except need to go to Europe. China. Oh, China. China. It's oh, Europe out, is coming after. It's coming out in China first, and then Europe, U.S. <laughs> I think that's what they said. I think that's a direct quote. I'm pretty sure. Give it to the camera. I'm pretty sure it was a direct quote. <laughs> U.S. <laughs> if that doesn't float your boat, how about the uh, Yola tablet? Actually, I think it's the Yola tablet. Yola? Yola tablet. Is um, it kind of like Ricola? <laughs> kind of. It's the first crowdfunded tablet. Although they say that, but I'm not sure that's the case. I seem to remember one that was a while ago. I back don't remember, ago. but what I will tell you is this thing's got like a million dollars worth of funding so far. Uh, they've sold almost 4,500 of these tablets. They have a 7.85 inch display with the same resolution as an iPad or a Nexus 9 or one of those N1s yep. that you so belovedly love uh, that's only coming to China. <laughs> Uh, anyway, did you say it was uh, they've got their own uh, OS on it? No, yeah, they they so they use this Linux based Sailfish 2.0 OS. That's right, I, guys, Sailfish. I you think this right. is a terrible idea, to be honest. If I well, were, if I was going to be honest to introduce with you, something new like this into the market on both the hardware and the software front. Yeah, I'm sorry. If I was going to be honest with you, which I'm usually not. But if I was, I wouldn't buy it. To but be you honest. know what? They've already raised over a million dollars. Yeah, they don't dollars, care. They don't so care that I wouldn't buy it because 4,500 people have bought it. Yep. So, so well done them. Good on you, mate. Uh, now, if you if you don't want a tablet, but you do want to charge your tablet, then and if you happen to be Texan, <laughs> where we wear big old belt buckles. Yep. 
then you could get a belt buckle charger. Indeed. Uh, this is also a uh, Indiegogo project. It's $150 for a belt buckle that you can charge. So it has a w cable running through the inside of it. So you snap on your belt buckle just like you normally do, and then you pull out the awkwardly placed cable and charge your phone or tablet during a Maybe it's walk not so awkward. Did you ever consider day. that it's awesome? It's called a zoo belt. <laughs> X-O-O. -O. I think that's pronounced zoo or it's pronounced zoo <laughs> belt. One of the two. And uh, I think it's a pretty cool, pretty cool idea because you can just carry a belt buckle around with you everywhere. And, uh, you know, there's only one maybe tiny little problem with this project. Mm. And that is that it's going to cost $155 for that yeah. belt. Yeah, that's and, a very, very expensive belt. And it's only 2,100 milliamp hours. So to put this in Price. perspective for you, if you were to buy a 2,100 milliamp hour external portable battery it would be about this big and it would be about twenty dollars so like a tiny tiny little battery for twenty dollars or a belt for 155 dollars with the same amount of charge right not sure about it but it's uh, out there if you want it yeah and it's, it's two thirds of the way funded, and they still has four weeks to go, so yeah, it'll probably get funded. It probably will. And uh, if you want to be like Marty McFly, yes, then you can get your self-powered uh, lacing. Power laced tennis shoes. Pa thank you. <laughs> Power laced tennis shoes are well here. They're kind of here. They're somewhat here. They've been it, envisioned. It kind of works that way. They've been envisioned. <laughs> so because, take a look at this video. Yeah. The new auto lacing system paves the way for efficient hands-free shoelace tying, made possible by Powerlace. Simply slide your foot into the shoe and adjust the laces tension as you deem necessary. To reverse the process and loosen up the shoelaces, the activation of the small lever at the lower back hem of the shoe is all that is required. I mean, I think it looks pretty cool. It does look it's, cool. It, from an engineering perspective, it's pure genius. Oh, yeah. I don't know why anybody didn't think about it before. It is a Kickstarter project, and you can get you some of these shoes for 175 bucks US. Unfortunately, well, they have a while to go, but yeah. they, they, they have asked they're, for $650,000, yeah. and they've only gotten uh, like 50000 50, so. Now, it doesn't end until January 14th, but it's one of those things where I'm not sure about. And the other thing is, it's shoes. Right. It's also only men's sizes, no women, men's sizes, and it's only... It's okay, my feet, feet are big enough, I could go Only men's. size 8 to 12, that's Ooh, it. Yeah. In orange, blue, green, and gray. Not even so black? No white, no black. Oh. Um... I don't know. I I, I think it's I awesome. Try I want to it. For I would sure. like to have them, but the problem is with shoes. But I guess I can't try it because I'm a woman. Also, even though the laces might be awesome, how, you don't know how the rest of the shoe. I mean, right. Like that's just how's like the, the shoe structure. Feel? How's it going to fit? How's it going to perform? Yeah. So I think that's why they're going to have a little bit of difficulty. I think what would be more interesting is to bring that technology into. Uh, like uh, like work with like Nike or go, Adidas yeah, or somebody. It. Yeah, exactly. License it to to these other guys. You know. Yeah, what that I mean? would be but cool. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, they get this thing uh, to market. So. All right. We're going to take a quick commercial break because we have to pay some bills around here. And you're going to help us. Because. But don't we're worry. We're going to be chopping you, so much stuff up with this knife. Please do worry for that, me. That uh, we need the money. Yeah. So stick around. Be right back. That's not. You gotta admit it's very shiny. Look how shiny it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm they not can't sure see it's it. translating there. You there. See, there you go. Look how shiny that is. Good stuff. How you feeling, <sighs> Miss Sicky Sickerson? Um, I'm fine. Are you making it? <clears throat> I'm good. Are you gonna make it through the show? Yeah, you sliced that segment, Digital Phil said. Oh, thank you. And Bobbage wants to know: Do you do you realize that people can still see you when you're when they're watching videos? Like if they have the picture in picture.
people can see me when they're watching videos. Bobbage, when we're watching videos. No, what did I do when they were watching videos? I don't know. He hung his head? Why is that bad to watch, Bobbage? Did I hang my head in shame like, oh. God, I can't believe this. I can't believe this show. What did he do? Right now. now I'm curious I what he did. I probably was looking down at the uh, computer or something. Yeah, I don't know. probably. Uh, or maybe I was blowing my nose or something because of my allergies. Why, thank you, Robert. I'm glad I was dull in that segment. I appreciate the uh, encouragement. Did you pick out the Tim Block segment? The segment that we, we screened out? <clears throat> what about it? Did you pick that Tim Block segment so you know where it is? Or did she pick it? No, Ben did. Ben I don't. Picked I don't do assets anymore. Which one was it? It's the Ken Block segment. Yeah. No. Which Which part was it? With the police cars. Oh, where he's circling around them. Yeah. Okay. Why do you For not want? Well, no, just so you know where. Okay. Cool. Is. Cool. 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 This is like a twenty-minute video. It's ten minutes, but yeah, it's a long one. It's awesome. Who's talking? New ocean. That's Ken. Yes, Paul. New show idea. Can John P. slice it? That would be a good. That would be a that good show. That would be an awesome that segment. Was, Will like it, will it, will it slice? And it, it's just shoot. But I need like a sword for that. I need to get Cold Steel to send me a Is ridiculous. Is Cold Steel the videos that you show me all the time? Yes, where they're like That's chopping. That's the same company? They're like chopping pigs in half. Yeah. Literally, I'm they're not even kidding. They're already dead people. They're already dead. They got like a big pig hanging on a meat hook and they like <laughs> chop it completely in half, okay? You should go look. Janie says you nailed that segment. Thank you, Janie. Yeah. I'm Knife, just giving Robert a hard time. Knife Beat TV. I think we could do it. I think we yes. could do it. Yes. Let's do it. Yep. That would make you happy. And everybody uses a sword. You got to be different with the knife. That's oh, true. I'll, I'll use a knife. Don't you worry. Here Actually, go. what he could do. We're going to use a knife on this here in a little bit. He could use the sword, and if he misses that, then catch it with the knife. That's true. One with each hand, right? Because mm -hmm. it's very wise for me to take two <laughs> blades and swing them towards each, swing hey, them in, you in know this what? direction towards each other, towards you? my body. Like right? it's very <laughs> wise to be doing this, uh, 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 with the big knives and You're swords. You're John P. That won't matter. That's true. That's that's what I, the impression I was under. So it is true. Oh, oh. Perump, John P. is a real cut up on this show. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. oh. You guys are hilarious today. What's going on with y'all? Are you glad you're Friday? It's a Friday? Could we bring back Geek Beat Extreme and add that as a segment? How's that song along going? with Will It Burn? Huh? How's that song going? What song? Friday song or something? Friday, Friday. You love that song. I do. You love it when I play that song. Yeah. You used to hate that song. I used to. Do you and know? Then I fell in, and then this morning, Scott, David, and I were all hanging out in the in the in the in the, the, the Club Lynn uh, and in the break room. And uh, it came to my attention that you know David I could stab Foster. Completely through that. I do know you could. I, I hope you don't, because that is on loan. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we did not buy that. Um, <laughs> the uh, David Foster did not know what the uh, "I'm Fri It's Friday" song was. He had never seen. So it we had to educate Friday. him. Friday. Yeah. Oops! I put a hole in the table. You didn't think you were going to put a hole in the table while stabbing it? Hmm. It's the time to come. Oh, no, I guess it's not. Hey, do you want to play that game where you hold your finger like this and you go like this? Yeah, I do. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it right here on camera while recording to the whole entire world. Can we use Pablo's hand? Yeah, so let's, use, let's make sure we get a close-up hand? of this. No, no, I want it to be my hand. <laughs> I don't think I want to play that game. <laughs> I don't want to play your little game anymore. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's. Uh, oh, we're waiting for Ken. He's fixing yep. something. Y'all don't want. Ken me to is do really that? fixing something. Wow, I sounded Texan there. What did you Woo, say? That don't. came out. What did heavy. you say? <laughs> I did. What did you say? I didn't even understand you. Was that English? <laughs> oh wow, that just comes out every once in a while. <laughs> What did you just say? Y'all want something. <laughs> I said, y'all don't want me to do that. <laughs> y'all don't want me to do that? <laughs> really? Uh, y'all come back now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. <sighs> yes, we're speaking Texas. What do we think would happen if Ken ever realized how much power he has at his fingertips? I think he knows. He's just a benevolent wielder of his power. 
All Here we right. go. Is it unboxing time yet? Not yet. You have to wait. Okay. But it is time for the web segment, which I oh. know, Mr. John P., you are going to love this segment. This is actually even better than the planes, trains, and automobiles section yeah. of, this, of the show today because we slipped one in on it. I noticed. It's web video time. This is the hottest video that is possibly going around the internet and one of the greatest videos ever created by mankind. Prepare yourself for the awesomeness that is Ken Block. So he created a new 805 horsepower Ford Mustang. It's based on the 1965 model. And then he took it to LA where he acted like he's a actually complete working with hooligan. Police as opposed to the police just standing. Look at this. He's he's running circles in around the cops. And the, the police car is moving. Do you notice that? I did notice that. And look, this is hilarious. There's a car chase and it's he's a just white like Bronco. It's oh, a white Ford Bronco. Uh -huh, he that's went funny. by the white Ford Bronco. That's funny. Do Watch do you want to explain who Ken Bach is? He's the greatest man who ever lived. No he should need no introduction. Ken Block is a stunt car driver and he does drifting and if you haven't seen all of his Ken Block video series on YouTube just go look it up because that video was only released like a few days ago it already has 12 That's million insane. views he's sponsored by Ford Ford gives him like the cars and cash he's also sponsored by GoPro and all these other guys and he does everything you would want him to do. He does a he donut, does, like donuts around the donut shop, right? Right, um, exactly. He does donuts around police cars, yep. you saw, yep. uh, slides under a car with hydraulic suspension, yes, just does. all sorts of stuff. He does everything. 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 Go, go to geekby.tv forward slash live 155 and watch that video, I'm telling you yeah, right Paul now. Says, okay. Paul says in the chat room uh, that uh, he thought you were the greatest man who ever lived, which... I thought I'm so not really too. technically a human, so. Oh, that explains uh, it. Okay, that's the differentiating. Okay, yeah. just making sure that we that we're that we're clear mm -hmm. that we understand that. Yep. Okay, moving on to science time. I don't know if you guys heard, but last week, uh, the we the, had it on our show, but we didn't get around. We didn't, didn't get around get to, to talking about it. But the fillet, I I'm still unclear. Fillet. 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 The fillet. Fillet. <laughs> P H I L E A, Philea, right. the lander. Part of the uh, ISS, it the, landed on a comet. The EU built this lander, that they built a rocket ship right. that they shot around to a comet. Yes. And then, that wasn't the whole goal, was to circle a comet. The goal was let's land something on the comet and let's drill into the comet and let's get the dirt and junk from the comet. And study and it. Study it and learn and explore space, right? Yeah. Well, it seemed to go great. Um, a little glitches here and there at first, and then it landed. It did land. It was. It unfortunately landed on the side that wasn't going to get solar power, well, so that was bad. Yeah. Um, that's, that's a little worse than bad. Yeah. I mean, technically speaking, what they did was they landed a lander that has, it's solar powered, it has about 50 something hours of battery life, but it's designed right. to be recharged in the sure. sunlight. So they and were so going it to land it, forever, so right? it would just be able to drive around and do yeah. things and all that. They landed it and it took a bit of a hard bounce. Right. They landed in the sunlight a little too hard. But there was a thruster problem on the launch, so. Into the shade. Yeah. So then they were like, oops, uh, what are we gonna do now? And it has gone to sleep. Work fast. <laughs> Work fast. So they had that sucker drill into the rock, do its experiments as fast as it could, send the data back, and then die forever. Now we have a lander stuck on a comet for the next 100 million years, probably will never do anything else again. And you know what it cost them to do that? How much? 1.5 billion <laughs> euros. Ooh, that was an expensive. The same. They knew it was an experiment, though. They weren't sure it was going to work in the first place, so they were willing to take that risk. <sighs> that um, was a lot of money for 60, 
50 hours of experimentation on a yes, comet. Yes, and Bruce, it took 10 years to, to get there, to yeah, go through years, the experiment. 10 years one point. for like a two-day experiment right. run at one and a half billion dollars. That sucks. If they give me one and a half billion dollars, I will give them more information than they got from that thing. Well, I hope I'm the information saying. was worth something at least. I mean, I hope it, maybe it leads to not directly, but maybe indirectly. Well, they're going to at least know what kind of know. dust was on that comet. And that will be very... I mean, it might tell us where we it's came from. It's time to go on to the next section, which is the <laughs> odd story of the day. This is very interesting. Go Somebody ahead. has created an app that will do card tricks really? with real cards. Really? Take a look at this. So you take a regular, just regular old deck of cards, shuffle it. Uh -huh. Your app is standing by. It's designed by Al from London's Queen Mary University. So he's placing the cards down, bam, bam, bam. And uh, this app uses a combination of math and psychology, supposedly. I think this is all a ploy to get us to talk about them. Uh -huh. But um, you see, you do what he did. You uh -huh. place it there, and it's going to guess at the card that is in, in question here, this one. Uh -huh. Bam. Same card. Right. Mm -hmm. Magic tricks by a phone. Surely that was real. Uh huh. There's no way that was programmed nope. to do that for video. Nope. To get us to talk about it on nope. nationwide that television. That was real. That is at my next. Um, so you know I, what I think I, that I was. I think that was a, a clown. So that came I think out I'll of where? That. that came out of a university in London, right? I think what uh -huh. that really was was a, was a psychology experiment to see how dumb Americans are. Right. I wouldn't doubt that. Like, if we buy this and, you know, it would be hilarious. There's a guy over there going, he's talking about <laughs> dear, aluminium dear cans accent. and stuff. He's like, you know what? Please pass me that aluminium can. Ha ha, Americans don't even know how to say that. Wouldn't it be funny if we could trick them into showing a video on television of us doing something very silly? And he was probably smoking a pipe while he was doing it. And wearing like one of those, what are they called? What and are a those? monocle. A what? A monocle. Cigar jacket. Cigar jacket. A, uh, yeah, smoking jacket. smoking jacket. Smoking jacket. And he probably said it with a Scottish accent. Why would he say it with a Scottish accent? Because they're more fun. Okay. They're just more fun. Okay. Uh, Paul Dixon in the chat room is making fun of my British accent. That really, okay, to be honest, that wasn't much of, British, that was so. kind of an accent that didn't even start <laughs> off British and then migrated into like three or four different things. Right. Are you going to cough yourself to death? We're going to go to commercial break. I'm going to cough and recover, and then you guys are going to pay the bills by watching these commercials, and I John's going to figure out, oh, no, just stay away from me. I can oh, take care of it. Stay away. Bobby's, How are you? Bobby says, I have the worst Texas accent. Oh, Lynn's here. <laughs> What's up, Lynn? <laughs> <laughs> Do you Whoa. have a job yet or anything? <laughs> what? First day today. Wow, I didn't even know you got it yet. Can't, can't believe those people gave you a job. <laughs> what were they thinking? Check it out, I got a new knife. <clears throat> and I have another new knife that we're going to be opening here in, in shortly. But first she has to talk about <coughs> stupid robots or something before I can open my knife. <laughs> Oops. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to not mute before coughing, guys. Sorry. Uh, did you cough in their ears? I accidentally did, and it was a bad one, yes. You want to heat up? <clears throat> There's not any left. Well, a little bit left. Who Thank wants to you. see a little sample? We already saw a sample. Yeah, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Look at what Chris said in the chat room. Your reaction. His reaction to the thing? Yeah, he was scared. He was like, no, oh. it hit me in the face. Oh. You didn't see it hit me in the face? <laughs> it hit me in the face. That's why, I, that's why I went like that. What did Chris say? Big caps. Robots are not stupid, John P. Oh, okay, okay. That's how I imagine he said it. Oh, okay. What? Yep, yep. <clears throat> We're going to be doing some chopping You've been here. up to anything interesting? <laughs> <sighs> Is it cold over there? Because y'all are both sitting yeah, there like this. Yeah, seriously. Here, like, almost no 
Oh, no so, so you so arm wrestle with your own arms? Is that the deal? Yeah. I see. <clears throat> I see. All right. Um, I appreciate the offer of the chicken soup, but really you know what is interesting? Right I actually do not like chicken noodle soup. I, I know I'm crazy and I know I'm weird, but that is, I much prefer the soup that John P makes. Unfortunately, he hasn't <clears throat> made any for me, but um, Here it's we called Avalemino soup and it is on his blog at onemansblog.com slash Avalemino soup. I don't know if that's the real URL or not, but. That never it's, stopped us before. It's somewhere on his blog. Let me see if it is. One <laughs> man's blog. One man's <laughs> blog dot com forward slash A V G O L E M O N O. Of course, it's probably not called that because no one knows how to spell Avalimino soup. Uh, it is. Really? It is. One man's blog dot com forward slash Avalimino. How do you Five spell Avalimino? A V G O L E M O N O. Go Avalimino. there. Make that soup next time your significant other or yourself feels bad. Yeah, that is That's good all soup. I have to say. Yes, he's been shopping things. You shouldn't have been nice. See, that's what you get for being nice and going to get me some tea. Okay. I can't believe it's Friday. I know. It's, it was just Monday. I don't know how that happened. Wow. It literally, I woke up yesterday and it was Monday. And now it's Friday. I'll make some soup for Callie. No, don't worry. I don't want him to. He's got plenty of other stuff to Whatever. do. Whatever. I don't want him to. I can make my own avalimino soup. It doesn't taste nearly as good, but I can do it. <laughs> I'll make you some damn soup, okay? <laughs> but you're just so good at it, John. Callie Boo Boo. David Potter says Callie Boo Boo. Where? Where? Over in the YouTube chat room. Where? I don't see that. The YouTube chat room. Oh, there. <laughs> the YouTube chat room is so tiny. NGD London. So I just got on from oh, the UK and that knife defo, defo, de, something. Demo? Demo kept me on. Well, stay on. Can anyone put this into context for me? Let me put this into context. <laughs> well, actually, Bernard's putting it in context for you. But this is one of the two Bowie knives that I just got sent to me. We're going to be opening the other one here shortly, which is similar but made of a different material. And we are going to chop that piece of wood to death with this knife. So just... Hold your horses. It's coming as soon as we can get through her stupid robot section. Can we roll this so that we can do these robots? I can stab through right through one of your robots with this. You know that, right? Hey, hey guys. guys. <laughs> Welcome back to Geek Beat Live. I'm having to keep my knife sharp and and, uh, and Why clean. sharp? You haven't even used it yet, well, John. I know, I know, but I gotta keep it clean. I gotta keep it clean, because I, I don't know what you're gonna show us today. I think it's robot time. It is robot time. And when the robots come, I'm gonna be ready for them. When the robots come, they save lives, is what happens. Really? Yes. You remember a while back ago, a few years ago, I don't know, two, three? There was a big, huge forest fire. And a lot oh, of yeah, firefighters. It was like here in Texas, wasn't it? And I thought it was Oklahoma. in Oklahoma. Like, yeah, it's I don't like, know, but like thousands. It's, it's like a thousand square miles yes. of, fi of forest burned or something and ridiculous. And many, many firefighters died. Yeah. Many. Too many. Too Even many. Even one is too many. Yes. But there were more than one. There was. And so now we have robots to do that for us. Robot firefighters? Unmanned aerial firefighting helicopters. Are they like quadcopters? They are kind of, well, they're like, they're, it's a helicopter. Oh, wow, that's bigger than a quadcopter. It's a helicopter, but unmanned, um, so that people can stay in safety and work on the uh, fires uh, Wait, you're telling remote. me it doesn't have a pilot? It does not have a pilot. No, okay, that's the one that doesn't have the pilot, not the big ones. That one, the big one has a pilot, right? No. No, this is a joint effort of Lockheed Martin and Kaman. Um, it's the Cave Max. 
that it can have a pilot. You can pilot it with a human being, but you don't have to. Uh, so it was originally designed for the Navy and the Marine Corps, um, but you know they could they could potentially use this all over the place once the price comes down in local state um, uh, fire fire departments. Can I get one of those? Because I'd like to fix it. <clears throat> I think no. It's probably not available for John P's purchase just yet. I'd like to remote control the helicopter. I'm sure you would. But you just I'll, started I'll with the iris. One. And that didn't I mean that went all right. Well I had a I had a I had the a 3D test robotics pilot to help me. Correct. So I didn't crash. So it. let's learn that first and then we can move up. How okay. about that? Can I can I have one of those if I have a test pilot with me? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, well, we'll have to see about that. Okay. <laughs> what else you got for us? Because I need to get on to chopping some uh, stuff up. All right. How about um, a research project from the University of Oslo? Uh, they have created self-evolving robots. Shut up, John P. Don't say a word. But it's for future space missions. They, so They've created what? <clears throat> self-evolving robots. So basically, it's a 3D printed robot that can also create parts for itself and create 3D printed parts that I'm scared to say it cuz you're going you're looking at me like Wait you a minute. just don't want this did to happen. Did you just say that you're did you say they're building a robot <laughs> that gets smarter and builds more robots? Builds itself. Is that yes. what you like, just so if said? A, if a part fails, it can fix itself. Well, can I ask you a question yes. then about that? Uh-huh. So you're saying that this robot, if like, let's say it lost an arm, mm -hmm. it could build a new arm for itself. Mm -hmm. Something like that, yes. So then if it could build one arm, it could build two arms, it could build a whole other robot. Well, right now it doesn't require, it seems to require human interaction. But it's learning and getting smarter. <clears throat> Something to that effect. So they're going to <laughs> build, you're telling me humans have built robots that are smart enough to learn and build more robots. But it's and meant this doesn't concern you for, at all. It's meant for space missions because then humans don't have to be in space, even though they want to be, but they don't have to be. This, this is meant to pry open jars and things, but I can chop people up with it. Okay, you can't tell me what a robot's meant to do, and then tell me the robot is going to make other robots to kill people. That's what you just I told didn't, me. I didn't tell you that last part. You did tell me part. that. I didn't tell you that last part. Well, we all knew that. <laughs> all right, what you we got? We all knew that last part. On planes, trains, and automobiles. Nothing that's going to make other versions <laughs> of itself to kill people, but Toyota is bringing their Mir Mirai. Their what? Hydrogen vehicle to the U.S. No. Mirai means future. Wait, is this Japanese. is this the one that we saw at CES last year? We I don't know if we saw it at CES or if I just talked about it once before, but this is the first real hydrogen fuel cell car. They've been developing it over a period of like 10 years, and uh, what's going to happen is they're initially going to have a five-state rollout. New York, uh, they're going to have it in the Boston metro area, New Jersey, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and they're going to build 12 <coughs> hydrogen gas stations around New York and Boston, uh, and they're going to have 19 hydrogen stations in California. Anyway, there's not going to be a lot of charging stations, but if you're near one, you could get one of these cars, charge it up, it'll have a 300 mile range, it uses hydrogen and oxygen, and the only thing coming out of its tailpipe water cleanest thing you can get nice in theory awesome. if you could get one if they if they were going to sell one I in thought your you area, just said I thought you just said they're bringing them to the US if they were going to sell one in your area if they were going to put a hydrogen charging station <laughs> in your area and if you could afford one and if they had them in stock then you could drive the cleanest car in history <laughs> all right well can I get the next thing the okay the next thing you can get if if you move to Japan and you wait for about 15 years. 15 years? Well, not 15 years. Only till 2027, silly. They're building a new 300 mile per hour maglev train Ooh, called the look at that. Shinkashen. The Shinkashen? Shinkashen. 
Shinkashen, <laughs> and it's operated by the Central Japan Railway Company. That uses frictionless magnetic nice. levitation. And you know, they've been they were talking about this in between like San Francisco and L.A. Yeah, doing something like this. Yeah, but the Japanese beat us to it in 20 because we're kind of lazy because we're kind of lazy to because be we've, honest. We already know that that 2027 is going to happen first. Anywho. They have already tested it with 100 passengers on board, and it went 311 miles per hour. Wow. So they are expected to be replacing Japan's existing 200-mile-per-hour bullet trains. Mm. Do you remember we I rode one? I do. I had a blast on those. What was it like? That was awesome. It was totally silent. You couldn't hear a thing. It was totally uneventful, <laughs> but it was awesome. <laughs> it was a anyway, comfortable they're replace ride. Them. It, this is going to cut the trip from Tokyo to Nagoya from, to 40 minutes from 80. Wow. Half the time. That's crazy. Cut it in half. That's awesome. Just stay off the tracks. Stay off the rail railroad tracks. Yeah, you won't even hear it coming. You won't hear it coming. Okay, that is all I have for you today. Now you and get to chop stuff after commercial break. So we're going <clears> to <throat> go to commercial break, come back as quickly as we possibly can, and I'm going to try and maybe offer John some chamomile tea. Um, John, here, have some tea, please. It's calm, calm. <clears throat> calm. Zen. Zen. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. Texas is going to build one that runs on oil. Nice. <laughs> Do we have to stand up? Yes. <coughs> oh, I forgot. I meant to put that down a while back ago. Whoops. I meant to put what down a while ago? The box. No, Pablo. How are you doing on time? No problemo. <sighs> Let me toss this in El Trash. So how are we planning on doing this? <clears throat> are we doing the trapping of the wood first? Last? What? I think it'll have to be last. Okay. And then what? Do you need somebody to hold the wood? How about if we chop this in half? Okay. We have towels. I think. Don't we have towels? We'll do it outside if we do that. Do we have towels? Rob, the um, TV aired show is about 42 to 46 minutes, depending on the week. Digital Phil, you know you can come any visit anytime. You just don't. That's, that's your fault. He came once. And, and it was a good visit, although we didn't really get to talk to you very much because it was the grand opening. Uh, let's see. But I'm glad you came for that. There's a package here. To me? For me? Is it for me? Is it for me? The problem is I don't know if this is, I think this might be something I bought as opposed to something that. <clears throat> <sighs> Did you get all the packages that were delayed the other day? Oh, gosh, look at that. <laughs> John Rush, you can come visit anytime too. Anybody can come. Is it? <gasps> you won't know what that is. I talked about this on my episode. Oh, I totally didn't watch that. I know, you don't watch my episodes. A bubble machine. Nope. Nope. Um, Brian, are we doing check in time? We can probably, I don't know if we can squeeze it in the recorded version, but we could do it after the unboxing. Yes. How we'll about that? Yes, we'll do check-ins. Ah. You're trying too hard to not cut whatever's in there. Nice. Nice. Okay. We will save those and we will use we will use those anyway. Okay. <laughs> uh, Haram for your B day uh, daughter sent you chocolate and bacon with potato chips in it. So David got his. Uh, yes, he got his. <laughs> yes, he did. It's okay. Just wait and see. Sorry. You're fine. You just. You just spent a lot of time and paying for something you didn't have to. That's All right. Are we ready? Oh, 
Are we gonna do the check-in now? Ken, you have the check-in up? Is that what that's for? Do I do it now? No, I don't know what I'm asking. You want to do it now? Why not? We might not be able to get it in the TV. I don't episode think we can, so we'll just do it right long. here. But let's do it. Okay, guys, let's do our check in. Tell us where you're from right now. Right now. Check in time. Where are you watching from? Rob oh, said my birthday shockers. came and went without shockers a single by mention. The what? That is not true. We mentioned you. We yeah, said happy birthday. We did. All right, here we go. Stop to California. UK. Tallahassee, Florida, Bruce, Liverpool, New, New Jersey. York. You missed those two. I did? Oh, Outpost yeah. number nine, Houston, Texas. Gil Weiss, Poland? Charlotte, uh, Mitchell, Fort Mitchell, Kentucky. Kentucky. Edwardsburg, Michigan. Czech Slavia. Czech and Slovakia. Ha oh. <laughs> <laughs> ha, Bobbage. Oh, Venice, Florida, Falls, Falls Church, Virginia, North Devon, UK, San Marcos, Texas, Calgary, Calgary Alberta. Alberta, St. George, Utah, Dallas, Texas, Winnipeg, freaking Canada, Geek House, uh, Toon, Denmark. Prast Nibble, Sweden, Beverly, Massachusetts, Cedar Park, Texas. Portland, hey Oregon. Guys. Goffinsburg, Sweden, Robertlandia, Geek House, Finland. Paducah, Paducah Kentucky. Yulesmond, Denmark, Netherlands, y'all. Baltimore, Maryland, Linkoping, <laughs> Sweden, still in Pennsylvania, <laughs> London, UK, Nashville, Nashville Tennessee. Tennessee. Antarctica, uh, also known as Dubuque. Cor Cordoba, Argentina, DFW, Amatra, Finland, West Virginia, Witch Witch, Texas, <laughs> Gap, Gap France, France, Medan, Indonesia, Meden, maybe, Meden, Hamburg, Germany, Snow to My Eyes, New York, <laughs> London, is it snowing in New York? London, Mansfield, Ohio, UK, Texas, dang it, Pardubis, Czech Republic. Arkansas, Cincinnati, Ohio, Columbus, Ohio, Shreveport, Louisiana, where they have riverboat gambling. Nice. Northumberland, England, Hopedale, Massachusetts. Thank you guys for joining us. Yes, thanks for watching. I'm trying to determine <clears throat> if it's over or if we're getting a delay. Here we go. Orange County, California, Waterloo, Ontario, Canada, Detroit, Logandale, Nevada, Ukraine, Kiev, Kiev. Jacksonville, Alabama, Buffalo, Yeehaw. New York. Uh, oh. Oh, Lady A lost her stream. Oh, sorry. Oh. All right. Callie nailed the finish names again. Woohoo! I think we're getting delays on yeah, the Yeah, it looks like stuff. Something's, something's happening. Northwest, southeast. Bob has checked in Texas. Like, from all over the world in various. WWW Shadow 7 is in Gerald, Texas. Nice. All right. Did you put Abby away? She was barking? I didn't she hear She was barking. She went, she went oh. Nice. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. We are going to come back from commercial yes. now. And um, get to the unboxings. <clears throat> Let's do it, Ken. Jumpy, uh, it's not really appropriate to uh, be undressing or whatever you're doing over there oh, we're gonna, on camera. We're going to be undressing in public more later, <laughs> I have a feeling, today. Okay. But I figured I'd go ahead and get my old, uh, get the old uh, knife uh, nice. ready here. Can we get a so, zoomed in uh, well, shot probably, of that? Probably or? the wood's in the way yeah. uh, of there my bully go. there, right there. That looks so. good. Yeah, it looks How good, huh? Fashionable. Yeah. You think they let me go to like the grocery store? With that on my hip? In Texas, sure. It's Texas, after all. So. Uh, we do have this big old two by six. And by the way, feel how heavy this section is. You feel that? That's, That's because. not heavy? What are you talking about? No, it's for a two by six, it's heavy because it's soaking wet. So that makes it super, super hard. But guess what? You we're said gonna, that like a week ago. Gonna, it's, it's still it can't wet. It still be wet. It, Come on. We're going to chop it up in a little bit. But. <laughs> Uh, we First got some unboxing. boxes. We got some boxes over yeah, here. Yeah, let's do it. We got uh, small, medium, and large. Large. Okay, small it is. <laughs> okay, small it is. If any of you watched my episode, my <clears throat> daily show episode from yesterday on the <clears throat> garage and stuff like that, I said, I know you don't watch my shows. I said, 
That's why I'm saying what I said because oh. you don't watch my shows. Okay. I said, wouldn't it be fun if you could have those full arm sleeve tattoos? Yes. With Only the, without all the blood and pain and stuff. That's a lot of that's a lot of pain. Guess what? I ordered them. I ordered some uh, on on Amazon. Nice. And we have like, a, I mean, a lot of these things. Awesome. So you get to so take we can your. Choose, we can choose our tattoo that's right. with our outfit now. That's right. Okay. Your tattoo just met. Well, here, we just. This tattoo one looks sleeve. good. It's got a skull on yeah. it. Yeah. Actually, it's got a scary clown on the other side. I'm not sure. You, do you like scary clowns? No, God, no. Please take that okay, away. This one uh, looks like a dragon. Oh, this I one want has this a hot one. chick on it. Look. What? Right here. See, there's a hot chick nice. on it. Nice. Lucky number one. Okay. All right. This is mine. This looks like it has a you dragon. You already have. Uh, I have long sleeves, sleeves on already. Oh, this is nice. This is soft. It says choppers. Okay, it goes this way. Surely I can. How lo how far up does it go? It goes all the way up. All the way up. They I'm only not, cost these things only cost like me, twelve bucks. Okay, people. So you can get your. No, twelve bucks for the whole like like a twenty pack of them is twelve dollars. Okay, <laughs> so you can get your. Sleeve armband sleeve tattoo thingies. I think this is my new uh, my new look. It actually looks pretty real, doesn't it? I mean, the only problem is that I have freckles, and so it's kind of slightly unrealistic. But yeah. look, now it looks like I got a full a full arm nice. tattoo, doesn't it? It's got to be like it's got to like be kept bucks. taught. For twenty bucks for all of them. So nice. Y'all should get them, and you, what do you go think to of mine? go to what's our what's our thing? Ge TV slash gift guide. Gift guide. We got right links there. on there to them, so you can get yours. Cool. Okay, now that I got my tattoo on, now you can have a large box. So this one is pretty large here. Uh, oh, this one's from Randy. Randy. Here, we better uh, we better open this box. <laughs> uh, let's see. Of course. Let's see. I, I won't even um, pull out my uh, yeah, we'll take, we'll my little right knife. Right here. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't want to just damage anything inside the box. That's the only challenge. What's in the box? Do you um, know? From paper? Randy Hoyt? There's paper. Oh, okay. I do know what's in the box, you actually. You do? But I'm not going to tell you yet oh. because... Is this a surprise or secret? Yes, look it. He has invented a new oh, game. Oh, yes. And he sent it over to us to check out. The Relic, Relic Expedition, a jungle adventure game. Yes. Nice. Indeed. Playtime half an hour to 60 minutes. What does it say on the back? What's it about? What do I do? I don't know. You know, uh, the holidays are coming up, so that's a good time. A game to, by Randy Hoyt. To play games with your family so that's that you don't have to box. talk, right? And, and, right? And then, yeah, why would you want to have to spend any quality no. time with the family when you can play <laughs> games instead? It's actually, I mean, I have no idea what the nice game box. is yet, but it's a nice looking box. There's a nice <clears throat> official field guide here to the bot to the game. And uh, looks wow. like there's a there's a whole bunch of like cards and things. Oh, it looks like you get to pull these pieces out. These are the This is a whole here. like three oh, dimensional look at the monkey. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that sounded like okay. a monkey. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know how to <laughs> play this game yet, folks. But we're going to uh, do Wait. a little playing with it. Oh. And that goes on top. Okay. And we're going to let you know. So you cool. can go check it out. Go look up the game Relic Expedition. A game by Randy Hoyt. Nice. Check it out. We'll be back to you once we've had a chance to play with it. You want another big box or a medium box? I want a small box. Uh, the only other small box is my other knife. I want a big box. I'm a woman. I get to change my Fine. mind. Here's a big box for you. What's, What's in this it? From? What is this? Oh, oh, I know what this is. Oh, I know what this is too. Do you? Do you remember what yes. this is? Are you gonna Are you gonna demonstrate this? I don't know. We're, I'm going to test it before agreeing to demonstrating it. So this is a bag essentially that turns Look, can you zoom in on into this right here? a changing towel. The changing room in a towel. Look at this. Called the room L. Like I actually, a towel, towel, changing room, room L. Wait, is this Get the it? same one that I talked Get about it? on the show? No. No, no okay. This is different. So, so you can you can see you like put it on as this kind of a skirt and then it kind of wraps up or uh, I don't know exactly how it works yet. 
Yeah, you got to learn. But we're going to have to figure that out. There are step-by-step -step instructions. It's a whole towel, like basically in the bag. And so you put it on and you uh, zip it up. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna have to learn as well. But there's a zipper right here. Yep. You put it on, you zip it up, and then there's a little... Uh, uh, String thing that you you cinch it around you. So like what I could do is, I could put it around my waist, right? Cinch it up, and then you stick your hands through these slots right here, right here and here, and you pull your pants off. So <laughs> like you see how my hands go through. I, with this attached around my waist, I could take my pants off and put on my like. Let's say you were a surfer, okay, yep. and you're wearing, you know, one outfit and you want to change into another or outfit. Or you're just at the beach enjoying the nice water and right. then you decide, well, I want to go to lunch. So. And in theory, a woman would just do a little higher, right? Right, like this, exactly. Or up even around your neck or something. Right. You know, and uh, you can change underneath it. So we're Very gonna give it a try and then we'll we'll uh we'll get naked right in front of the camera. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna happen with that. Well, the Rumel. Hey, after the after the pics you've been posting online. Uh... This is the last one before we get to my other box. Okay. So I've been posting, you've been posting them. Uh... <laughs> All right, we've got one more box here. Looks like, what do we got? Here, read this. Okay. Tell me what we have, because I get to play with the green stuff. The Dana Lock. It turns your smartphone into a high-tech digital key. Uh... Uh, you have it there? I do Okay, have so it, it looks like it has an app. And, Operate um, by hand, app, press of a button, or physical key. Any of them. You probably put it on the lock or replace your lock with it. Keyless entry, and designed in Denmark, installs on the inside of your door. It's iOS or Android. It works via Bluetooth um, or Z-Wave. Oh, really? Yeah. Z-Wave. That's a good. It that's does. an industry standard, yeah. finally. So that means maybe you'd be able to control it with other things as well. Uh -huh. So this is what it looks like. And on the bottom, congratulations on your new Dana lock. Please remember to read the quick install guide. The cylinder tailpiece must stick out, not stick out. So I'm going to guess that, you know how you have a padlock with a little lock thing uh -huh. on your door? I'm guessing Change you take that, that thing off <laughs> right. and stick this on it. Looks and this, like will, this will turn it and remotely access it. So we'll have to take a look at that, give it a shot, cool. see if we can unlock some doors. Awesome. See if we can open some doors of opportunity. <laughs> nice. All right, you have okay. one more. Pass these over that way and move oh, these off. Oh, somebody has to clean that up. That's what the interns are for. That's why we <laughs> own interns, okay? We own interns? Nice, John. And now, okay, at the beginning of the show, I couldn't wait. We had to open the Cold Steel Laredo Bowie. Now, what I did not tell you about this and there's no way you can zoom in this close on it. But this one we opened is one that's made of O1 steel. This is a particular type of very tough, very durable steel. Um, and when it is heat treated properly, it is exceptionally hard. Which means that when you sharpen it, it holds an edge for a long, long time. This is a proper tool uh, for killing people and chopping nice. things up. But, but they also make another one. This is the Laredo Bowie made of VG1 San Mai steel. And so this is a different variant of that. Now this knife is, I think goes for about $280-ish. Okay. This knife, if you look it up on, go to coldsteel.com, look it up. This one goes for about $600 and Whoa. $80. This is a beautiful, beautiful knife. Oh my gosh. So mm -hmm. the handle is made of a material called uh, micarta. It's black linen micarta. And do you see those ridges <coughs> kind of in there? This is made of many, oh, many wow, layers that. of linen That's gorgeous. that are impregnated with a uh, polyurethane type material. Basically, think of taking a, a, a linen sandwich and putting it in a pressure cooker with plastic resin and it gets really hard and durable nice. and still be very beautiful. Okay. And then here's one other very special thing about this particular blade. 
Do you see, can you see this line that runs the length of the blade here? That is a quench line. That is when they harden it. That is from there down is it really, really hard <laughs> while the back may be a little bit softer so it's durable. That is a beautiful, beautiful, here, you want to touch it? I do. There you go. Oh, it's even heavier than the other one. It's very nice. It's, it is It's very about nice. the same, but it's, 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 it's a much higher, it's, it's much more technically complex yeah. to, to make that knife. It's beautiful. And it comes with a little different sheath. So the other sheath I have on me is just a uh, kind of a Kydex, uh, like a plastic type sheath. It's very nice and it is lined inside so that this thing slips in nicely right. and gives a little click. click yep. But this one is a, a, is a leather. Full leather kind of uh, uh, knife uh, bl uh, sheath. And this thing just slides right down into there. So nice. I'm, I'm not going to put it in just now because I want to keep it out and play with it. Now, <laughs> the question is, what can you do with a blade like this? Uh-oh. Okay. So before we wrap things up for the day, we're going to go to town on a two by six and just see what happens, okay? I, I have my safety gear. Yes, warning people, please, for the love of God, do not go to like Walmart and buy one of their $12 knives and try this because you could break the knife. This is dangerous. Also, that ain't gonna protect you, but don't <laughs> go swinging big knives like this into wood the way I'm gonna do it. This is just stupid, okay? <laughs> If you were to let go of this knife and it went flying off while you're chopping, you could hurt somebody. So don't do that. But here's what I want to see. We're going to take a swing and hack down into this and see how this big uh, heavy-duty blade does on this piece of wood. You ready? Here we go. Nice. So it's basically like chopping it with an axe. And what's really nice, if you look, uh, I don't have my, I don't have my, uh, we'll just use a shirt here. Let's oh. <laughs> just clean that off a little bit right there. Absolutely no damage to that blade whatsoever. Nice. That is what a real proper heavy duty high-end knife can do. Just go to town on it. So we could chop two by fours all day long. Well, d is there a difference between what that to. knife will do and that knife? This knife will do even more than this one will. Okay. But there is no way I'm gonna take my beautiful new San Mayan ah. chop on that thing, at <laughs> least not right now. Okay. You guys are gonna have to tune in for even more. We'll get the double knife action going. We'll do a proper on re review on these. And this one right here, is going to die. What? We are going to destroy this knife. We are going to torture this knife. We're going to break it. Are you going to, to remember which one is which? Just how much damage can we inflict on it before nice. it fails? Because that's the only way to know how good it really is. So I'm sorry, my little baby, <laughs> but you got to die for the rest oh. of us to live. Thanks well, for tuning in, guys. Uh, stay tuned for more. We will uh, let John spend some time with his beloved knife before sending, before sending it to the... Uh, Watery grave or whatever. Uh, <laughs> thank hey. you guys so much. Follow him on Twitter.com slash John Pose, Google.com slash plus John P. And uh, you can follow GeekBeat in general at Google.com slash plus, plus GeekBeat. Blah. And you can also follow her, <laughs> twitter.com forward slash Callie Lewis, google.com forward slash plus Callie Lewis. And that's it for this week. <laughs> Thanks, we'll see you guys, guys later on. Bye -bye. Tweet us or whatever. Tweet see us. Ya. Yes, please. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Beautiful, aren't they? Yes, they are. Very nice. That is actually, you were right, that is actually heavier because mm -hmm. it's even a bigger, bigger blade. Yep. It's slightly bigger. Look how gorgeous that quench line is. Yeah. It is nice. I was noticing it, like... It's a little wavy. Is that... That's just where they it's, put it, right? It's, so. a, it's a little wavy because... Because the human is doing it, right? Well, yeah. Basically, to get a line like that, what you do is you you pack um, <clears throat> the, the rest of the blade in a, a, a material. Usually, like when I do it, there's a material that I use called satanite. 
Nice. Not a joke. It's called Satanite. And you mix it up, and it's, a, it's basically like a... It's like a really thick, heavy-duty mud. And you pack it all along here, and you leave the area exposed that, that, you, that you don't want to get... Um, uh, you, that you want to get really hard. And so once you've got Satanite packed all on it, then you put the, the blade, the unfinished blade, into the fire. You <coughs> heat it up to the proper temperature, which has to be very, very... Well, for me, I use fire, but they probably used an oven. Right. But you heat it up to just the right per, uh, temperature, which might be, let's say, around 1,500 degrees. Then, then you immediately take it out. And depending on the type of steel also, the treatment is a little different. But let's say you might have some oil, and the oil has been preheated to maybe around 150 degrees. So you take this out of a 1,500 degree oven or fire and immediately stick yeah. it in the oil and psh, you know, it does that, and and then you, uh, it's hardened that piece that was exposed. The other piece that's that's behind the satanite is kind of insulated against the shock of the change in temperature, and it may get a little bit harder in there, but not brittly hard like the other piece. And so then, you never, when you're testing and breaking knives, you don't do one that's been quenched like that, right? Yeah, absolutely, oh, you okay. do. You have to. You have to. You can't test a knife until it's finished. <clears throat> so that's the problem is that when you have a really, the only <laughs> way you know you have a good knife is that you've destroyed a few knives before it. Right. Like, you know, if you just, if you just make one knife, you might think, oh, I got a good knife, but you have no idea. You have to make many knives and then test them and break them and, and you, you learn, uh, you know, what worked best. And then you, you develop a process that, you're, you're doing the exact same thing over and over and over, and you're getting these particular uh, results, yeah. okay? So I every knife that's ever made, you never know until you actually put it into use if it's really perfect. But at least if you do it a lot, you have the experience to know that you probably, you probably got this one right. Yeah. That sleeve looks good on you. Oh, you think so? It does. So do I need to go ahead and just get a tattoo? Full, you, work full it, on, you work it well. A full-on sleeve tattoo. Nice. <sighs> Although I wish they would have done it a little I higher. Just like cut it off and made the tattoo. The pro hey, yeah. that ha they do that sometimes, though. It says born to be will. Yeah, born to be will. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that is a little bit uh, improper. Also, my arm's uh, a little bit long for this. Uh, right. You know, probably could use one that's a few more inches uh, in either direction. <laughs> we might have, like, included the D on this one, you know. Right. Born to be wild would have been nice. I don't know. Let's see. What else do we have? <laughs> Let's see. Hand me, hand me those. Let me see if, they got, if there's any other good ones here. Do you wish you, uh, you would have done just the sleeves now? As opposed to... Oh, here's a whole, like, dragon-looking... Uh, this is a dragon. That's the one she had on. Mm -hmm. Oh, you had that on? Wow. <sighs> okay, then. Let's see what else we got here. You know, that actually made my arm, like, maybe a little bit warmer. Of course. It's going to be your excuse for wearing it. Yeah, I got to... It just... Yeah, it's not because I want to be cool or anything. I have um, sleeves have like this. For right. my bald head. I have sleeves like this that are, like, a little thicker. Not tattooed. But um, for, like, when I'm out, you know, in, in the winter. Um, maybe out by the water or something. Are they actually warm? Oh, yeah. They're meant for keeping you warm. Like, bu like bikers wear them. They're just sleeves that go from here to here. No. <laughs> uh, Chris, how are you? It's been a while since you've been around, I think. Is that right? All right. Have you seen Chris in the chat room lately? lately? <laughs> Have it? Has he? Chris Philby? No, 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 Chris Philby. Yeah, I haven't seen him in the chat room during the live shows in a little bit, I don't think. Have we? Mm. Yeah, this so. is not so good, I don't think. No, that one doesn't look quite as good. The other one looked better. No, yeah, the purpley. Like well, and you're not a high roller, like, you know. Yeah. One yeah. Seven. Uh, no, no, not really. I no, think. You need, you need to find one that has fire on it. 
Yes. I do. I need like flames. I need yes. flames shooting up the arms and stuff. There's a whole nother package here we didn't even get to yet. Skulls don't even do it right. Mm. That yeah. one maybe. What's this one? Oh, that's like a sun. No, that oh, won't look good. Here's a Jesus praying. Here's a wolf like, uh, like, like that wolf uh, t-shirt. What's that wolf shirt? You know you can get. Oh, here we go. How about a Hawaiian one? Like one of these Hawaiian -y arm sleeve things. Polynesian. Po uh, Polynesian. Oh, gonna, the, it's gonna tear. What's gonna tear? A fake tan. <laughs> try it. Give it a try. Yep. Big D. That's actually tribal, is what that is. Yeah, I need tribal arm sleeves like this. There you go. Actually, yeah, it looks kind of real on camera. On camera, it looks real. There. You just gotta hide the seams. Look, ACDC. Nice. The problem yeah, is, if you have a tribal armband, you need to have two that match, don't oh, you? Oh, that's a good point, Bobbage. Uh, we will not have a live show next week, since uh, uh, since it's since Black Friday and everyone is off work. We don't really except close. for us. Yeah, we don't close down for the day after. We yes, have to we work. Do. We, we do. have to. We have to be working. Thanksgiving day and the Cause day we, after. Because we, Callie and I, and and David Foster too, because he doesn't know yet. He doesn't Congratulations, realize. Congratulations, David. You get to work on Friday. Yay. We'll be all working because we have to be tweeting. We have to be finding all those deals for you guys and tweeting them out and stuff. Yeah, so we will be uh, hitting it hard. Finding you guys Let's see. good deals. You should try this, this one. This you need a you, you want the evil yes, clown? No, I want the pin up girl. Pin up girl, go for it. Here, how do I look? Do I look like a do I look like a Oh man. Mark McGrath, that's who you look like. Who? Sugar Gray. Oh. Give me a close up on that, Carter. Do I look like do I look like I'd uh you know, belong in, in a biker show or something? They kind of look real, don't they? At least on camera. Yeah. They don't, they're not. Oh. Yeah, it's the seam that kills it, but. Yeah, but it depends on how I have my arms, oh, right. too. Right. It looks awful on me. <laughs> you got to pull it up higher. <laughs> it looks awful on me. Like, they look good on anybody. <laughs> that's not, that's not right. Oh. Lady A says it's not Thanksgiving in the UK. Are you serious? That after watching this show, you don't give thanks that you don't have any responsibility for America anymore? <laughs> that is so cool. You look like... Come on, show it. Show it off. You have to come up. Oh, okay. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's something very wrong with this. Yeah, it it's looks real. It's just your self-image. If like you would you embrace it, tattoo. then it would be... Yeah, you could work it. Yeah. See, he's got See? the real ones. The real ones. Here, All let's right, see. let's compare. Let's see. Real versus. Memorex. Can you tell? <laughs> can you tell which one is real and which one is not real on on the stream? It does look. It, it, I mean, on the TV yeah. from here, it looks pretty. It does. It looks pre except you can kind of see a line right yeah. here. But considering how white I am. Well, considering how brown I am. <laughs> yeah. What do you guys think? Tell us in the chat room. They don't match. Yeah, that's true. If I had gloves on right here, you would not be able to tell that that wasn't a right. real tattoo. They, <sighs> s they say John P. <laughs> Looks like his, his is real. And how much did you pay for yours? <laughs> $7, $12. Mine was $12 for a package of 20 And he can change on his, you know, I can a moment's him notice, on the fly. right? So if you walk into a biker bar, you can't. You they will change. kick my butt if I walk into a biker well, bar. Well, you could. Could, you pull yeah. up in your you could go through that laser If thing. I pull up in my, in my yeah, plug-in vehicle. Ben says Foster's tattoo is cooler. Thanks, Ben. But they think John's... What is in there? No, there's paper in there. It's just the first time. <laughs> it looked like there was packaging paper in there when you, when you pulled it out. <laughs> Uh, it's like. Oh, no. What? 
It's just it's it's just got to get a seated in there. Paper in there. Knocked on the face. If that ain't gonna come out. <laughs> oh. Oh. Desiccant. Desiccant. Oh, you broke the desiccant bag. Nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to eat or touch that. There are a lot of things I'm not supposed to eat or touch. <laughs> oh, that's, that's never funny. stopped me. <laughs> that is never going to come out. Oh, God. You're gonna... <laughs> you, like, jammed it in there. Yeah, you did. Actually, can you, like, cast my hand? Yeah. NetSlider says, I will mail you some alpaca gloves. <gasps> oh. It looks cold in there. Wow. Yeah, alpaca would be uh, awesome. That would be cool. I would take some alpaca gloves. I don't know, yeah, where do you, where do you buy Mercedes, alpaca gloves? My Mercedes used to have alpaca uh, liner. Wolfman yeah, says, don't lick that stuff, it'll give you a terrible headache. Like, he's he's tried. <laughs> yeah, I just shoved my uh, desiccant bag down in here. I don't know, there's no way to get that out. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I mean, yeah. it's not even a vacuum strong enough uh-uh. to suck it out. You have an extra sheath, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> that one's made specifically for it, though. Yeah, I know. Here, hit it. Maybe they'll send you another one. You can. <laughs> now you might want to. You're messing up your table. Go use your shop bench or your shop table. I just want to get the desiccant. <coughs> it's a boo boo e <laughs> knife. A buoy. A buoy versus a Bowie. Isn't so. What's what's cor- correct on that? I can't hear you, Pablo. We're testing the knife and the holder. Right. <laughs> There's still more. There's still more <laughs> stuff coming out. Yeah. Throw the knife. See if you can hit dead center. Right. Oh, <laughs> God. Man, there was a lot. How big of a packet was that? It's still coming out of here. That was a huge packet of stuff. When you were pushing it in during the show, I was like, that doesn't sound right, but well, and I, no, I just thought it was just, like really tight. Like, I knew as hard as you pushed in, it was too late. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see it. This is what happens when you do stuff like live on TV. Yeah, you just... You, you just... <laughs> That's not as satisfyingly loud. That won't work. Do you want a real hammer? No. (laughs) We got two of them. You've seen this, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. How did you get that? I know how you got that. Look at this. Uh, I threatened you on him. No. <laughs> With a tattoo shirt. Wait, we're, we're live, so it, just make sure. No, no, I mean, it's not. We're, we're casual b- behind the scenes, but I don't want you to say anything that you can't. Oh, no, I'm cool. Okay, cool. Good to go. Awesome. That is awesome. You want to bring it over here? Sure. It looks really good. I know. You have, do you I was have, really do you impressed. have a 3D thing in it? You, you have, have the content? The owner, yeah, I put my oh. I some content we did for on here. So. And it works on it? Well, that's why we developed, that's why we get we're developers mm-hmm. for this. I know, but I just didn't know that it was like, you, you know, if it required it. anything special yeah. or. What are you talking about? He looks awesome. Is that really talking to you? Huh? Are you still talking to you? Oh my God, look at it, Lady A. <laughs> Get away from this mic. I should be standing near you. Oh, Lady uh, A. You're awesome, Lady A. I love you're you. You're crazy. <laughs> I love you. John P. had a large package and he jammed it in really hard. Wow. That was not family friendly. No, it wasn't. You'll be impressed with this. We saw it. We saw it. 
we were there when they announced it. And okay, well, I'm going to roll my eyes and walk over there. <laughs> <laughs> How many we, we were right. like one of the first people to see it, dude. Yeah, Come on. Seen this. No, this content no, we, we haven't. haven't. No, you have not. Will it fit over so my glasses? It should. Might be a little tight. Um, <gasps> it'll come up in a second. And then oh, gosh. If you look to your right when you get all of the thumbnails, uh -huh. um, hit the, the, this is the, right, um, the touchpad on the top The right gear here. VR from yeah, Samsung, guys. Went on my way, or on your way. So, as you can see, the uh, note uh, actually is, attaches to the front. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. How Holy feel mother. How sound coming into your eyes? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> There's a dude right there with a camera. Careful, careful with sharp knives. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, John, what are you seeing? What's uh, the setting? It's a concert. It's a concert venue. There's somebody, there's people up on stage, at like a band. <laughs> Believe it or not, there's a band on a there's stage. A oh, my God. No way. And there's a big crowd of people, and they're waiting and there's a chick up there and she's playing the guitar. <laughs> now there is a headset that attaches to the Gear VR that you could use, but this is actually kind of cool to hear it on the speaker. He's looking for a beat. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Huh? Huh? Nothing. I'm not talking to you. Just enjoy your experience. You know what the problem? Here, Trump, put it on. You know what the problem with this is? Never mind. <laughs> I don't care that you guys are here with that um, thing on. I just want to be watching that. I have a tiny little head. Fix. You need to tighten it up? Yes. Uh, I don't know how to tighten it. Yeah, right there. <laughs> with, with that thing on, you're just like in your own little world. It reminds me of that movie. Ah. Uh, just hold it. Just hold it. <laughs> okay, hang on. <laughs> See, you can't fix that. They're going to ultimately have to make multiple sizes of that for people yeah. with different size heads. Heed, paper, no. Move that melon yours and get the paper if you can. Who knows what movie that's from? Try that sequence. <laughs> okay. Six. Okay. Yes, I think so. How do I? Coming up. I think I'm John P. I think I'm John Pose. There's no. There's nothing. Hold on a second. Be patient and watch your fingers here because that's a touch pad. All right. What's it called? Nothing. Gear VR. Yeah. Exit. Hold on. What do you got? Exit to Oculus Home. Uh, no. It's like no. I just like it known for the record that I was able to get that Maybe. working and like I just uh, put it on and just there, used but it. I see She's Callie but Lewis. no video. What do you see? Just a, an image of the concert. Uh, just a bunch of thumbnails? Oh, it's probably no, just paused. one thumbnail. It's probably just paused it or hit, something. Can you hit play? Hit, just tap it and see what happens. There we go. Well. Wow, mm. there's a lot of these stupid things. Think twice before you order a 20 pack of arm sleeves. You on the touch pad. A little closer. There you go, right there. I'm, I'm hitting buttons, but it's just not coming. Let me, let me reset it. Maybe reset it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. It looks huge on Callie. Everything looks huge on me. I have a little bit of head. I don't know why. Yes. Jike Moans got it. So I married an axe murderer. Oh. Nobody here got it. I arrived late to the concert. Yes, Diego. <laughs> That's what was going on. Okay. Okay. Right. Hopefully, it'll come up. It'll say play. You just hit it, play. She's hitting the button like I'm repeatedly. I'm not. It's sometimes it's hard to not hit the hit the button. Say play. It doesn't say anything. Because you hit you the button. Get at all? Oh, I mean, I see Alabama shakes. Okay. Look You're at the categories list. Categories list. <laughs> You're there. There, there we go. I'm hitting it whenever I do that. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Now you got it.
Yeah, the 360 works really well. Nicely done, Lance. Like once you put that 360 stuff on, you yeah. don't care what's going on around you after, are, outside. Are these that. your, your guys? That becomes your world. Are what? Are these your guys or the films that that are on the the runner, the camera rig? Uh, that's uh, that's the TV crew. It was, it was a we were working around television production. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> they need to make a face decal to stick on the phone to hide the fact that you're wearing it. <laughs> that would be awesome. Were you looking for Wally? No. You mean Waldo? <laughs> what, Waldo? Waldo? Where's Waldo? John, you need to request that these guys make one for your head. Yeah. So that like looks like hair? Like, no, it has like prison tats. Oh, prison tats mm. on your skull? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. All right, I'm Wally a little bit... Wally in the UK? I'm a little oh. bit disappointed. Waldo is Wally in the UK? Oh, I see. And other countries? It's just us Americans? <laughs> nice, of course you do. This will this will chop the wood better than your machete will. But um, I have to figure out how to get the stupid thing that I shoved down into here out of it. Oh, you have to wear your glasses. Well, I don't have to. Yeah. Although, I don't yeah, know. Will you see that? We'll see. Hmm. That'll be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Fire that thing up. I don't think that's gonna do it. Well, it's gotta be better than. Do you see it? All right, guys, I guess we're going to wrap it up. Yep. So we can get out of here for the weekend. Everybody, I think, is going to want to play with the uh, VR, VR here. Yes. <laughs> so, um, and I thank have you to guys. go to work on this. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. As always, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. There will be content coming out all week, so don't worry about that. And keep a look out on social. So we will be tweeting you deals all week long or, like, Wednesday through through Saturday, through next week, or through the following week, whatever. Thumbnails, yep. Starting on Wednesday, we're going to be making sure you have all sorts of deals. What is that? Oh. Oh. I see. I know. He already told me. Okay, guys. You guys have a great weekend. Thank you, guys. We will see you later. Bye. Bye. It's pretty weird when you look down, like. Mm-hmm.